So this game, I'm not going Teemo. I was first pick and our support was fifth pick. I thought it was a perfect Tom Kench top game. And what the heck are these recommended items? Doran's Blade Start. That's it. It's generally good, apparently. And yeah, I got countered this game by, I guess, Urgot. I don't think he really knew that it was Tom Kench top, though. I think he was just like kind of picking it just to be safe because he didn't know what he was against. Or maybe he thought it was against a Yasuo. I don't remember when Yasuo showed. But yes, you may notice I have Exhaust as my secondary. And the reason being is Yi went Ignite. And I also have Unsealed this game. So here's my runes down here. I'm going Unsealed, which is going to allow me to swap out my Summoner when I use it. I don't even know if I have to use it, actually. I think I can just get a free like teleport back to lane once this cooldown comes back. It's pretty sick. And yeah, I don't have grass because I'm not against a melee champion. They do have some melees though. Like I was thinking about going it just because they have a Silas who did already die by the way. They have a Silas Echo, so I'll be kind of meleeing them a lot in fights. I'll be able to melee quite a bit in fights, so maybe not having grasp is going to be bad. Because generally like Tom Kench is the last one to die, probably. Depends how I like position, I guess. What's I doing? I thought I'd do more damage to them, to be fair. I thought he was just running it, though, kind of. I don't know, maybe it's a kill. Okay, that was awkward. I don't know why I wasn't auto-attacking, but whatever. Did the guy just leave because he got 1v1? No way, right? I'm not sure this guy's coming back. He just left, I think, because he got 1v1, which, like, I could have lean-swapped him. I wish that I, uh, you know, had a little bit of time to talk to him before he did that. Hopefully he comes back. I don't want to lose already. I'm trying to get a high win rate on this account, and I just feel like there's no way I lose in this game if he just stays. What is with these people in, like, running past the wave? The Urgot did that too earlier. Like, he just went autopilot after, like, issuing a command. I don't know, it's just a weird thing I've noticed about this game in particular. Yikes, spot got doubled on, and the jungler's not even there. And we have no... Oh, dude, I have to farm two lanes now. If Imagine if Yasuo was just here farming this. I could just be mid, and I could have roamed bot just now too. Like, I could have got a double maybe. But I decided to go back to top to stop this guy from pushing. And, like, I can't kill him is a thing. So he's just gonna be, like, split pushing the entire game. Just getting free farm. And meanwhile, the Yi and Yumi are both farming in the jungle. And I'm trying to farm two lanes, but, like, they're just not doing anything. And, uh... I'm here. They need to kill that, like, really bad. Please. Just echo R and then... Yes, good. Run this way. Perfect. Of course you have that, but maybe I can get him still. How did that knock him up? Wow. This guy's... they're both dead. Holy crap, I don't have boots yet, dude. I need boots. I'm getting them soon, I think. 10.30. Oh, I'll get him. Yes, perfect timing. Let's go this way. Oh, that was clutch. Ooh, that was so clutch! <laughs> I need to get like Mobies, I think, so I can farm multiple lanes. Okay, wait. I'm trying to do this, do this, and then I'm trying to also teleport. Oh, I have to wait four seconds. Get teleport here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Please don't die. I'm just gonna go for this guy. Oh no, I missed my Q. You can come on me, right? Holy hell. Put it, put it down, yeah. Wait, what? Yes. Holy hell. This is hell game. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> this game is insane, bro. Where's the MF ults? I just walk you towards the Ezreal and the MF just... I cannot believe I already lose, bro. This is insane. Yumi. Come to me, come to me. Yeah, got him. We just gotta do it. There's no R. I wish we still had Yumi ult, but... You. Oh god, so it came back up now. <laughs> what is MF a wolf? Holy hell. 
<laughs> There's so many, bro. Oh god. They're all so fed too. Get me out. <laughs> bro. It's the Moby's Kench. I'm fast AF boy. Wait, that's wait, we have teammates though, I thought. Oh, I could have eat. Whatever. Like, honestly, the E's not even coming. And Ergot's top. He's just free farming. Like, we need to be making plays on this. And E's not trying to win, so whatever. Oh. That dude did not want to walk up like that. We're Smurfs, hard carry every game. So that's what I should have said in my previous game. This one should be a free one. I got autofill jungle this game. I didn't even ask my team to give me top lane. I think that's like not a good play. Just, uh, oh, that's a fat pull actually. I was thinking like I would get a lesser pull from Mundo, but that was really nice actually because his cleavers do percentage damage. But yeah, just going to uh, do some power farming Udyr. And this is actually an insane build that I have. I want to kind of uh, go over this with Without, like I don't know going too much into jungle because I don't know that much about jungle and I actually just messed up I never want to let the monkeys agility wear off they just get first blood smurfs carry every game it's all good I'll go bot it level four I actually get level four off of this path and it's insane I'm gonna go R two points in R and so I have one point in Q which I started and then two points in R holy hell you guys carry every game huh we'll see about that one Let's see who's carrying who this game yeah, I have lethal tempo on Udyr, and it's actually nuts with the new lethal tempo. It's good for uh, melees, I think, more so, but you get really punished for using it with ranged. It's not so good on ranged anymore, I think. People still get it, but I don't know. I just don't think it's that good. Nice solo kill on the mid, and solo kill on the top lane. Good lord, he's not dead. That's unfortunate. But yeah, so just clear everything. Smite this as well, just to get it off cooldown. Yeah, basically you do three autos. Well, I didn't need to there actually. Three autos and then you get the fire breath. And then your Q actually, if you auto three times, you get some more damage. So it's beneficial to uh, do that. And I'm just gonna wait right now to see if um, they show. Actually, I'm gonna go to the river, what am I doing? I'm a little bit not practiced with my Udyr. But yeah, it looks like the river crab is up. And then I'm just gonna control the river because I'm the river king. And I do have water walking this game. I'll flash my runes on there. Uh, Gotta focus on getting that. I'm gonna solo kill. Oh, this is perfect. This is like, where do you want the... Uh, I don't know if they know I'm here. I still don't. I'm assuming this guy's no flash. That's not good. I'm the River King. No, you can't. What the heck was that? Axe? Don't let him pick up the axe. Hmm. Holy hell. He freaking walks away too. I don't know what the auction just did, but he like flashed on the victor. And I think that killed me for sure, 100%, because it allowed the Olaf to kill him, and then he was next to me when he came out of that, but whatever. Get some of that, and then let's get a Dark Seal. We're gonna go for a hardcore AP carry Udyr build. Oh, nice. They got the return kill. I think Olaf's probably heading bot. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Like, the, my mid actually killed me there, like 100%. I never will lose a 1v1 uh, with Udyr, but I had to flash on the victor to get the kill, or I didn't have to. I guess I could have, like, played that differently. Holy hell, I just walked over that. Yeah, that's not happening, top. Mundo needs help. Ugh. Yeah, CDR boots are pretty good, I think. Like, I usually go them just for the ability to spam my abilities faster. I don't usually go them on like most uh, junglers if I ever play other junglers, but I think Udyr is definitely... Well, I don't know. I think maybe it's good on a lot of uh, junglers because you get faster cooldown on your smite. It's just kind of a spammy thing. I spam a lot. But yeah, sorry Mundo. My path requires me to not gank for you. I can gank bot though. I'm going to come out of this and I'm going to be a bit ahead of the respawn timers in the jungle. So I could gank bots and I could waste some time there. It's like, oh nice, this is perfect. So yeah, this guy uh, dropped a sweeper here and then allowed them to basically force a fight. I don't know if I could have killed that guy or not. Or if I like, I should have stunned that guy. 
I didn't realize that um they were gonna lose that. I thought if I just chase that guy, it's fine. Like I didn't realize they were actually losing the two v two. I wasn't thinking in my head like I have to stun this guy or they're gonna die. You know, I was thinking like okay, we just mop this. But uh, yeah, that was that was probably awkward to watch. Anyways, I am worth 150 gold now. And crap, I just missed the plating. Yeah, whatever. Let's get a bomby cinder and go back to clearing. Basically, I'm guessing Olaf is gonna have cleared this, but we'll check it out. And yeah, after maxing R, oh, what the heck is going on here? This guy's uh, not messing around. He took my blue. Olaf smurfing like 100%. I still maintain the fact that he would not have outjungled me this early if uh, the auction played that differently. But to be fair, like I could still do think I could have played it differently, but I don't know. Dude, Olaf just ganked mid and then walked bottom, and they're getting caught by that. Like these guys are not super smurfs. Like there's no chance that if my mid gets ganked, I'm playing top lane, right? I die from that. Please don't stun. Nice. I did get uh, some MR so I can just yeah, run that guy down. But you know what, it's fine. They're playing probably better than like a normal, you know, bot lane, but yeah, they're just kind of running into the enemy. Pretty hard. Okay, I'm down for this. I'm River King, so I'll catch up. This is perfect. Just keep chasing, keep chasing. Yes. Nice, got his cooldowns. This Irelia, this is a fed Irelia. He, he killed the Mundo like three times. Oh, got his flash too in the TP. Okay, we'll take it. We do a TP as well. Oh, they're doing the drag for us. How nice of them. The Olaf's not even here. Well, that's really nice of the enemy. 900 smite. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you guys. Please advise. Nice. All right, we'll take that, and then we'll take this right here. Somebody's unstoppable. Honestly, I don't really care. Like, okay, they killed the Olaf, actually. That's really good. Even though they got uh, doubled up on, they definitely got a shutdown, right? I think the Olaf was shut down. Maybe not, actually. He's died twice already. It's two platings, or three platings mid. Let's go mid, and then drop the Herald. So Akshan's kind of nuts, I think. Champion's nuts. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get first blood tower here. We only have uh, 30 seconds till the plating fall, so I think it was worth it just to do that. This is fine. We're not gonna get the first blood tower, but we got two platings off of it. When platings were about to fall, so whoa, nice. I swear this bot lane is like pretty clueless in terms of like positioning of like where the enemy is. I think their Olaf's actually bot too. Because Maokai was just mid and then he walks bottom through the river and then they get caught by it. It's like, I don't know, whatever. I don't think they're super smart, but uh, maybe they just get carried by their comp. I think that may be more it's than anything. Because yeah, Lulu Kogma is just insane. Yeah, we lose first turret top and then Mundo dies, so I really won't be one as well. We got enemy killing spree because uh, super smurf is dead, but mid is owning as usual. And then the Olaf does the classic fade away. Walks away actually and then does not get it and then has to keep chasing. Okay. We can't stun him, so there's no point. I think I win this. <laughs> Just beat him down in bear form. Yeah, the Akshan is the super smurf out of anyone if I had to say someone's super smurfing. Kill this. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, I don't know. I just want to chunk him before drag, but... Bro, this Mundo is so bad. <laughs> so useless. <laughs> I didn't really think that the uh, Victor was there in my head, I think. Something, I don't know. I'm trying to think why I did that. I was trying to chunk him before drag. Like, that was definitely why I did it, but... Yeah, it's a drag fight now. I really is going back top, though. We can do this. Lulu's dead, Mundo's dead, but I really is not here. And we got Akshan, super smart. We'll make a smurf god. Let's do it. I under smite. See if I can out smite. Nice. Oh, this guy's nuts. Okay, <laughs> he just takes the bait. That was a like, pretty high class bait there, I would say. Gotta watch out for that Twitch, he's Omega Fed. What the heck is he doing? 
fucking chase? I don't know. I'm not really a champion that like has that much uh outplay potential. Like I gotta kind of just decide. Okay, we're going in that hard. Whoa, dude. Yeah, I think this Lulu and the Cog are definitely carried by their comp. If they are like some kind of diamond duo. Because yeah, like after he ulted me, we just back. Like we don't have the means to be able to stay in there. So this game, I'm going Zeke's Convergence. I thought I was going to put it on Cog, but I might just put it on the Auction. And basically whenever I stun someone, he does extra on-hit damage. 100 damage, I think. Dude, this guy's always on my blue. Like it's actually nuts. I had to clear out bot, and so he saw me on the map. I think that's why. But yeah, we're getting to the point now where like the enemy could be doing Baron, honestly. Let's get in. Why? Are you guys going that hard? Uh, Lulu does have ult and ults this guy. Jesus, dude. Maybe? Oh, the tower hit though. When he revives? Okay. Nice. The Akshan revives because he gets a kill or something. I don't know how that works exactly. Pretty sure that's it. We could Baron actually. We could Baron. Go Baron. Go Baron. Go 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 go. We have everyone up. What the Akshan's OP dude? What the heck? Yo, we have everyone up and they have two dead. Even after it was a two for two. That is insane. That champion is insane, dude. What were they thinking? Like actually, like I'm not memeing. Like you guys know I don't I don't do the like WTF thing, like this is OP, but like that is actually OP. That's a champion you have to buy almost, I think. Like it's a win right there. It's GG. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't have this guy bound as an accomplice, but whatever. Hey, like, we just went off of that. It's insane. Okay. I don't think Cogman's gonna be happy about her decision to hold me. I think she just fat fingered it honestly. Or could she have ulti their guy? I really like this build though, like how it's turning out. It's a really like supporty slash utility build. And I don't know if I have enough AP for this. I guess you don't need a certain amount of AP anymore. You just need to damage a champion with three separate attacks or spells, which I can do. Yeah, I think they're just carried by their comp honestly. Like the Kogma Lulu, even if they don't do well early and the Twitch gets Omega fed, if they don't have a Lulu, then uh, GG basically. Okay, I was gonna go for the Twitch, but it looks like Twitch is done, so. Looks like that's game. And I did get a Medjai's as well, and it kind of paid off this game. Got the 10% extra movement speed for a little bit. Yeah, this all up was definitely a smurf. Astro inting, like, this dude just came up with a new word. Only smurfs are allowed to do that. Single handedly lost the game. I really is toxic. I really was 1v1ing the Mundo just non stop. I really deserves to flame you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I really just absolutely annihilated top lane. This guy's talking to these people as if like they're like challenger, honestly. This dude must be hard smurf. It felt like that was a really high MMR game in terms of the smurfage. There's a reason you're stuck in this ELO, just think. It says a dude who just won a game going 184 on Kane. Like you think that would have humbled him, but no. To be fair, the rest of his scores are pretty carry, but yeah. What is that 184 game, man? Like what? What the heck? Did you deserve to win that one? And now he's flaming the victor for getting outclassed by what I could only describe as possibly like a master smurf. Like this guy pretty much seemed like he played this thing perfectly. 